set to bring you baseball from one of the crown jewels of the sport, venerable Wrigley Field in Chicago. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Washington Nationals and the Chicago Cubs. Stay tuned for Cubs baseball next. Lane Thomas now. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Washington, the center fielder. First pitch Lane coming. Here it is. Thomas. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Striding in now for the Nats, number the three. Field. This will be his number first trip three. to the plate in this one. Now here it comes. And the 34 year old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0 and 1. Very nice afternoon. High skies and 77 degrees at game time. And very quickly there. They're two gone to start the inning. Two down. No one on base. And digging into bat next. The ever dangerous Juan Soto. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Two balls and a strike. All even now, 2 and 2. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw the first with time to spare and the side is retired. The batter will be Nick Madrigal. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading the second baseman. And the pitch. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Drilled to the left side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. The first base hit, number 18. To the plate now, number 18. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. And he punched the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. In the right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And it's one and one. One ball, one strike. 1-1 one, one home. It's a fastball that misses. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first down. So now here is Wilson Contreras looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. He's set. Here it comes. Now a change up here to start things out, but that'll dip a bit too low, and it's one and all. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath. Something can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge. Not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. One and two now as that one's fouled off.
Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Not a good. So we are now for Chicago. Patrick Wisdom. Here's the first pitch. There's a breaking oh, ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. A hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. And it's fouled away. One and one. Here it is. Two and one. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. Squared that one up just a little late. Two down, runners at first and second. And this one misses here. Close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. That is good. Here's Jason Hayward now. Certainly a big moment in this game. Bases loaded, tie score. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. One and oh, here it is. Just no. off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Three and oh now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. 3-0. Here it is. Taking all the way there, and a walk could be huge here, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's got the bat on his shoulder again on the next pitch. And, ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike. 3-2 and two now. This is the cat and mouse of today's game. 3-1 almost definitely bought you that fastball, and he took it. Interested to see if this pick. Well, the side is retired as they make the play. Second inning set to go. And next it'll be the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. Pitch on the way. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Count even at one and one to the Nationals first baseman. Grounded up the first baseline. He's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Into the box. Yadiel Hernandez. First pitch on its way. Oh. Now the 1-0 is nope, laid off there. for ball two. Oh. And he gets this one over at the knees oh. for the first oh, strike. The 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number oh, two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just Three, looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw too late to get him at first. Not a thing of beauty, but it's an infield single nonetheless. And up next, it'll be Cabert Ruiz. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Half of the second set to go, and up Nico. next, Nico Over Horner. Time. That's shortstop. Nico Horner. Comes set. Here's the nothing to nothing pitch. No, that's the ball. What a note. The 1 0 home. This is on the ground over to first. Bell scoops it up, and he'll step Here on first himself for the out. Up next, number 66. And he's ready to take his first cut. Now the pitch. In there, and it's 0 1. 
You know a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball. Oh oh center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Ready with the one one pitch. Two and one. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And he misses here for ball four. Already two Batting walks up. surrendered in his first no couple of innings of work. Kyle. He's set and the pitch. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. One there, but wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Nick Madrigal. He collected a base hit his first time up. Has a look, now the pitch. Fouled away. Two strike pitch from Strasburg. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. Bell brings it in, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Luis Garcia, 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Garcia. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. One away now in the Washington third, and in steps Carter Keyboom to give it a try. Here's the pitch. Third inning, no score to this point. And there's ball one. One ball, one strike. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside, three and two. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Into the box now, the Nationals pitcher, Steven Strasburg. Change up too low, and it's 1 and 0. Oh. Fastball got him to swing one through one. it. It's 1 and 1. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. In now, Lane Thomas as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Here's another 1-2. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. 
Another 1-2 delivery. Strasburg leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. Stepping up is number 18. He single first time up. The first baseman. Number 18. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Breaking ball for a strike. 0 and 1. No ball. One strike. Swing and a miss, oh, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball? Great job oh. on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Ready on one and two. That's a corner. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the inning. So one out, nobody aboard. And that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. In there, no balls and a strike. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Hap with a two and one count now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Full count now, go. 3 and 2. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now that is the young catcher, Wilson Contreras, trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Kerpal looked at here for strike one. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitches second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Oh. And a fastball way off one target one. here, and it's even at one. A ball and two one strikes ball. to count now with the bases empty and two away. And he fouls this one off. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal, you can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Bell will put this one away, and the side is retired. Now to bat, number three comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. This one's down to third. He's right there. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Juan Soto to the plate now. He's a dangerous hitter indeed as the reigning batting champion in the National League. From the stretch. There's the first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. That evens it up one and one. From the stretch. Ground ball right side. A dive and he knocks it down. 
On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. Josh Bell the next to hit. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. In tight with the sinker. Ball two. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Stepping in next, Yadiel Hernandez. Yadiel Hernandez. He's set. Here it comes. Right side. Throw on the first, and they'll escape the danger created by the error. The inning is over. Ready now is Patrick Wisdom. He set to lead us off in the whole half of the fourth inning. First pitch of the A.B. now. And that misses low and away. Ball one. One ball. No strike. Fouled off. Ball. And this one Inside. runs a little too far in. Ball two. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. The right field. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls and a strike to count. Comes set with the 0-1. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Got him. Fooled on the pitch as he swings at it in the dirt for strike three. Next, Cub up, Nico Horner. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Heading out towards shallow right. Soto was there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Next to dig in, number 66 worked a walk in his first plate appearance. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get back in safely. He's ready. Here's the first pitch, and it's fouled away. The 0 1 on its way. Ball. One ball, one strike. Two ball, and one. one strike. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Found a good pitch there, Not had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington moves at ball four. And now the Cubs pitcher, Kyle Hendricks. He's over one thus far. And now the first pitch. Oh. Off 
off the plate. One ball, one strike. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. The set and the 2 2. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Fielded cleanly on the first, and the Cubs squander what looked like a good opportunity as that ends the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to hit is the catcher, Cable Ruiz. Cable Ruiz. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Drill down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. And the Nationals get a man into scoring position. It's a leadoff double. Now that the shortstop, Luis Garcia. At the plate, Luis Garcia. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Down the third baseline. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And now for Washington, Carter Keeble struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And he lays oh. off for ball one. Ruiz leads off second with one gone in the inning. Here's strike two as it catches the outside corner. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. So it was a swinging strike three. Carter Keeboom goes down for out number two in the top half. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Steven Strasburg is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. One and one. Here it is. That's, ball two. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Two and one. Here it is. Down the left field line and deep. And foul. Two and two. Here it is. Popped up number 18 into foul territory and no one will get this one. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. He set the 2-2. Two -two. On the line that's a base hit. He'll come home with it. The tag and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. Second baseman. So now to the plate, Nick Madrigal. As he takes a bold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. He's 1 for 2 in this one. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. Fouled away.
look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. And he will reach down to get it as a stumbling play that time is nevertheless good for the first down. At the plate now is number 18. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. And now the first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. One ball, one strike to count. Strasburg on one and one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Hot shot to third. Scooped up. On to first. And Strasburg's in control here. Two away. Digging in. The switch hitter. Ian Happ. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Oh, this ball is hammered to deep center field. Into the bleachers and gone. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. Lays off 1 0. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Contreras in front, no two balls and no strikes. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2 1. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Reined in. Throw on the bell at first, and the side is retired. to the top of the lineup stepping in Lane Thomas he'll start things out against Kyle Hendricks as we get the inning underway pitch on the way into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 line hard deep into left and he will run this one down moving to his right and that's the first out of the inning Next to hit is number three. No for two on his line thus far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. To short. He's got it. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. Here now is Juan Soto. A couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. A strike and it's three and one. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And this is taken low Take for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. Grounded softly to the right. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to hunt him as that ends the inning. We 
Paulo Espino enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 30. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Patrick Wisdom. Leading off for the Cubs, the third baseman, number 60. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, 01, here's the pitch. Wisdom is a highly regarded defender, especially as corner infielders go. Some guys at first or third are there because they can hit. But he takes a lot of pride in his defense, and as a result, it's definitely not uncommon for him to make an impact on the game with his glove. No, Lays off cool. two and two now. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And now in the box, Jason Hayward. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch on the way. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. The 0 1 on its way. Swing and a miss Double. out in front of a changeup. Fastball corner. just misses. That's ball one. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Counts Double. even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Just hung in there on that one. Wisdom aboard here at first with nobody out. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. And this is swung on and missed, and Hayward has gone on strikes and has one away. Set and the pitch. Nico Horner is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's one and zero. Oh. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. it looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. He's set. Here comes the one one. Runner goes for second. Swing and a line drive. So two balls and two strikes now. One run on three hits. One error for the Cubs to this point. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Soto is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now to the plate, number 66. A couple of walks for him thus far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Fastball hit on the ground is short. He's right there. He's and an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Yadiel Hernandez. First offering. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game, and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. Oh. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Lifted down the line in left, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see it. Oh, look at the diving stop. He is out. Okay. 
So next to bat will be Cable Ruiz. He doubled his last time through. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to push him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Well, he got the leadoff guy hitting on a ground out, and now he's 0-2 oh, to start this at bat. One ball. He looks really sharp so far to start the seven. Swing and a liner. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Standing in now, Luis Garcia, as he rips it on the ground to second. To second for one. Back to first, a double play. And with that, the ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. Chicago used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Kyle Hendricks is the winning pitcher of record. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Chicago Cubs, one run on three hits, one error, they left 